Uh, my name is Logan, and I am with uh, MediaGrindhouse.com. I'm here with uh, Kenneth Nixon, lead singer, songwriter, guitarist, piano for uh, Framing Henley. Uh, welcome. Thanks for having me, man. Uh, first question, uh, who is Hanley, and why must he be framed? <laughs> um, actually, the band name, uh, the close friend of ours, actually Hanley, um, she was uh, kind of like an extended member of the band in some ways, uh, always there, and even back. She passed away in a car accident in 2006, and um, you know, someone that uh, that meant as much to us as individuals as, uh, as she did, you know, uh, we felt like the, the least we could do was uh, to name our band after her, and, uh, you know, framing is more in the aspect of when you frame a picture, you know, you're preserving that memory, so, uh, mm -hmm. and that's, that's story behind the name that's really touchy stuff man that's awesome um the new album um some of who we are came out this april um how has the response been to the new album so far so far it's been cool um you know one uh i think i don't know if it's uh just kind of hyperbole and that's what people say or uh you know one uh, one thing that i've read is that it, it sounds like we uh continue to uh, mature, I guess, evolved, and that, that's kind of been our, uh, our, our, what we wanted to do, the, the length of our career, however long that ends up being, mm -hmm. is that I feel like with every album, that, you know, you are evolving as artists, and, um, you know, kind of take yourself out of the, the comfort zone when you go into working on an album, and uh, that's some of our favorite bands are the very bands that do that, so uh, we'll like we're doing a disservice to uh, not only our fans, but ourselves. We have to reach a point where we feel like we are writing the same album. So it feels good for uh, you know, people that are listening to say that this sounds like an inside of Frame Family because it certainly feels that way. And uh, it's good to have something out in 2014 that, you know, I feel is a good representation of who we are at this point in our career. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> and it seems that you guys kind of went through hell and back a bit to, to get this together and out. Yeah. Um, tell 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 me a bit about how the difficulties of this album were and what you really did to get it together and out. You know, we uh, I think uh, every ne or, uh, thing that could have possibly went wrong or uh, it could have popped up in the during the making of this album happened. And, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm almost to the point where it's like. It, it's still so good to to have that stuff behind us now. It's like I would almost rather not even talk about it anymore. It's just okay. and just put it as literally everything under the sun that could have happened during the making of the album happened. But what what mattered is we persevered. You know, we had our fans that came through with the on, on Kickstarter and crowdfunded this album in the beginning, and um, you know we spent a lot of time on this album working to make sure that we put something out that we felt was a uh, was you know worth the money that these people put before they ever heard a product, you know, um, mm -hmm. because of the fans of our band, and that, you know, that gave an extra pressure in some ways for uh, for this album and making it, and we just, we wanted to make sure that those people uh, got their money's worth, and, you know, uh, I don't think time was an issue, we, we would spend however long it took, and in some ways we wondered, uh, <laughs> with jokes, that this was our Chinese democracy, but, you know, I think that for a minute, we wondered if it ever really would be released, and we knew we owed our fans something, so it was going to come out eventually, but we wanted to make it special, and, uh, and we spent a lot of time working on it. And, um, uh, I, w I wouldn't trade any of that um, because of what we got out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's something that I've kind of noticed uh, talking to a few musicians that, that do the, uh, the crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, it seems that you know, when you are working with these fans um, who they're like, I would like to give you money to make something so I can enjoy it. It's almost like, man, we really, you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta make sure it's super awesome because it's, it's not, you know, it's not the record company's money. It's the people yeah. that care about you. That's, and it's awesome to hear you say that. That's um, for, it's for something any, you don't really think of as, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as going into the Kickstarter. I'll certainly say that. Like, you know, not to say that, like oh we can just put out anything but it's like it's an added pressure that comes along with it that, you know, that you're not even aware of until it is time to deliver an album to people that uh, in, 
their hard earned money um, mm-hmm. before they offered anything, you know, that, uh, that you're going to do. That, you know, that, again, we will always remember this because, uh, you know, for me and Emily wouldn't be here right now. We wouldn't have this album, and I wouldn't be just talking with you right now. Right on. If the Kickstarter never would have happened. And, um, you know, we owe where we are right now in our career a lot of awesome things that happened. And, uh, it, it's something in our career, I think, you know, I know that we're all going to remember the rest of our lives. Right on. Um, what would be the song or songs that um, you were most proud of from the new album, The Sum of Who We Are? What are I'm sorry? Uh, what would be the, what. the song or songs that you're most proud of from the okay. new album? Um, Castaway is a special song. Uh, I'd probably say Castaway and uh, and there's a lot on this album. You know, we we recorded over uh, 30 songs. You know, making this album. I think again, we we had to make something that uh, that pleased the fans. But I think we knew ultimately, if we pleased ourselves, that we we knew we would have something that we we could stand confidently behind and be like, Mm -hmm. you know, this is this is for your family and. in order to get there, I think that uh, we were all were on the same page about every song. It was like, you know, a dick to song. Because there were a lot of good songs that didn't get released um, because we wanted this album to be, you know, a front to back listen. And um, because of that, it's hard for me to pick probably uh, uh, a few favorites. I know, I know Castaway is uh, definitely a song that has a very special meaning um, you know, during the making of this. Because, uh, Kind of when we had the uh, the dawning of you know just realizing man we're very lucky to do what we do as a right. as a career for as long as that we've done it um, and to have people out there most importantly that for whatever reason you know somehow make connections with songs that we're writing you know about our lives and about things that we've gone through and you know that that's a beautiful thing about this again that I don't think you ever think of when you're some starry eyed kid let me do this, you know, sitting in your home or in the classroom, dreaming of doing this one day, and then uh, when it happens, that's the ultimate payoff, man, it's knowing that there are people out there that care about your art and make connections with, uh, with, you know, stories that mean so much to you, and uh, mm-hmm. that it can, it can translate in many ways to different meanings, to, uh, to encompass so many different things that, that make it, you know, to where everybody can, uh, all these different people identify on know again something that's so much to you that's mm-hmm. uh, i can ramble on about that all day but that's just that's the side <laughs> of this that i don't think as an artist getting into this we ever thought about but uh one of the most glorifying and, and humbling things of this and uh, that song is about you know how as long as you guys are out there and uh you, know, you want to hear music we'll, we'll continue playing this uh you know, i'll go down we'll the band will play on and go down with the ship kind of with the uh mm-hmm. The, that song's about. Right on. Well, I gotta say, that's one of the most positive outlooks I've ever heard on someone being a rock musician. That's that's just, that's awesome to hear. Um, uh, okay, here's... It's, a, mm-hmm. it's the truth, you know, again, it's, it's something that uh, I don't think right away resonates with, uh, with bands, but mm-hmm. uh, we've been do- doing this almost 10 years now, so... Um, finally, I guess, like, opening your eyes to that is, is one of the most rewarding parts of this, man. It's just, uh, it's, it's the little things, I guess, but that's mm-hmm. a very huge thing to us. If you weren't doing this, uh, what do you think that you would be doing with your life? I mean, obviously, I'd be a, an offensive lineman in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I would love to say that I'd be a football player, but, uh, uh, God didn't necessarily bless me to speak for that or for uh, wrestling, so I don't know what I would do. You know, this is kind of what all, this is not kind of, this is the only thing that I ever dreamed of doing. Um, awesome. You know, from the point of being a little kid, I uh, always wanted to be a musician, and uh, again, they, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, it, there's probably nothing else up there that I'd ever be okay with doing unless it's, you know, if this all ended, I would work my uh, ass off to uh, be a writer, I guess, for the WWE. Right on. Uh, an answer you probably hear every day for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you're currently on tour right now, and um, 
coming up this next month, August, you have stops in the Detroit area with one on the 8th of August at the Crowfoot Ballroom in Pontiac, and then at the 9th, where I'm going to see you in Birch Run for Dirt Fest. Now, um, what can uh, folks expect uh, from a Framing Hanley show? A fun time. Um, man, it, it, you know, after working on this album for as long as we worked on this album, mm-hmm. getting back out on the road and playing live is, uh, is the ultimate release. And, uh, you know, it's the most fun part of our day. And we, we work our asses off on that stage to make sure that everyone else has a fun time while we're up there. So uh, just be ready to have fun. Wear your dancing shoes. <laughs> um, the show on the 8th should be cool. It's, uh, it'll probably be a little bit longer of a set. Um, uh, Rock the Mitten with Andrew WK. And then on the 9th, um, yeah, Dirt Fest is going to be awesome. A lot of great bands on that. Every time we come up to that area of Michigan, you know, Michigan is one of the uh, the best places to tour for Framing mean, Hamlet, I think, for Rock Band. So, uh, we always look forward to coming up there. Our first time on Dirt Fest this year, so it's going to be a good time. Nice, yeah, me too. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah, and after that, you guys are going over to Europe for a little bit. Uh, what are you guys' plans uh, after your current tour? Yeah, we're going to do um, our, our guitarist uh, is getting married um, in October, so we're going to take the time off, go over to the UK um, October, November, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll do some more dates. I think right now we're, there's a tour that uh, we can't really announce yet, but it's in the fall except for September, so, you know, hopefully we can come back to Michigan even again uh, one more time or once or twice before the end of this year. Excellent. I, yeah, I know we'd love to have you. Um, but that's, yeah. no, that's no reason not to bring your ass to, to, to Dirt Fest or Rock the Mitten. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not guaranteed, so if you want to see Framing Handley, you better get your ass up there. <laughs> exactly. All right, a um, couple more questions for you. Um, craziest thing to happen so far to you uh, this tour? And this tour... I don't know, has any crazy stuff happened to me on this tour? <laughs> or on our touring cycle? Yeah. I know that Brandon, that was the coolest thing to happen on tour. It was when Brandon, uh, our rhythm guitarist, jumped up on a, uh, he, yeah, he tried to jump up on a stage monitor and he, it just flipped right when he jumped on it. So he, like, what did he land on though? He landed on a speaker or something? It could have been terrible because he could have just fallen face first off yeah. the stage, and uh, we wouldn't be laughing about this conversation right now if that would happen. But uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, the you know the, the album's only been out a few months, so we've only been touring for so long and supported it so far. So I'm sure some something really crazy now that we, you ask me that <laughs> it'll probably be a dirt fest. Watch. Oh yeah, if I'm lucky, I'll get a photo. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, is that girl running on stage naked? I believe she is. <laughs> Let's get pictures. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, I, you, I generally like to ask this question. It's kind of silly, but I, I, every once in a while, I'll get some pretty interesting answers. Um, name any two bands or musicians, um, alive or dead, that you would like to see fight to the death in like a Thunderdome type situation. Oh, man. I don't know. That's a terrible question, man. That makes it that, like, anybody that I throw in there, it's not like I have terrible detest to this person that I just want them to be dead. Well, they could already be dead, too. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't make it any better. You're still saying fight to the death, so I'm like... <laughs> yeah, one of these guys can die, and I'm okay with that. No, that's all right. Taking the high road is more than okay with this question. I've had it. I've had it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say to the death. So you have to be sure to clarify that. Okay, but, so uh, not not to the death. Sully from Godsmack would definitely be one of the two in there. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure who else I would throw in there. Maybe we can just throw him in that cage and leave it there. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. <laughs> um, was there uh, was there anything else that uh, you wanted to throw in that I might have missed, or you know, shout outs or something you want to say? No, um, you know, anyone listening or reading this, uh, I'm 
you get the album. It's uh, if you like rock and roll, um, it's it's a damn good rock record. You know, we'll never say that we made a perfect album, but it's a damn good album. <laughs> right on. So yeah, everyone, uh, go get the new album. Come see them this August 8th in Pontiac and August 9th in Birch Run. And thank you so much, much Kenneth, uh, for talking with me. I do appreciate your time. Hey, thanks for having me, man.